Hi everyone and welcome to a Theme Park Worldwide News Update. Chessington World of Adventures have applied for planning permission to build two new rides at the park for 2022. Now I just want to start off by talking about the timing of this application because it does seem quite late doesn't it? I mean we're in the middle of February now, the park opens next month, March, for its main 2022 season. So yeah I've got a bit of a theory behind why I think we've only just seen this application go in now. You've got to think Chessington have only just received permission for their huge new roller coaster and flat rides for next year the brand new themed area that's coming to the park on previously unbuilt land so that was a huge application for them so I'm simply thinking with this that they didn't want to kind of put this in uh, whilst that was still pending now they've got permission for that they've put in this application for two new flat rides for this year so that's what I'm kind of thinking behind it uh, that might not be the case however that would certainly make sense not to kind of overwhelm the planning offices and think they're trying to expand Span too quickly um, but no they've kind of waited for that to be accepted then put this in so yeah let's talk about the rise that they are hoping to build at Chessington as 2022 editions so you've got to think these probably aren't going to open for the start of the season maybe in time for the summer uh, or at least I'd hope so but they are only two smaller flat rides so it probably wouldn't take too long to actually get these installed at the park and of course theme them up build the queue lines operators cabins and testing as well so Yes, ride number one that they are hoping to put into place looks to be a water mania from Zamperla. Um, this is like a spinning teacups ride with water guns. Pretty good fun. Uh, only quite a small attraction. They've actually got one in Thomasland at Drayton Manor. However, it is quite good fun, especially on a hot day. They spin pretty fast. Uh, when it's cold, they can actually turn the guns off. So that's the good thing with this. It just turns into a, a fancy themed teacups, really. And talking of the theming, the operator's cabin on this looks like it's going to be a lighthouse, which is quite nice. And uh, yeah, that kind of leads me on to think the overall theme of the area and what they're going into because it is Pirate's Cove where they're hoping to put these two new rides. Now, it is a smaller area of the park and it's not particularly got loads of theming around. However, um, it does look like the fact they want to bring in these two new rides. Sea Storm's going to be reopening this year. Last year we had the Blue Barnacle. It seems like that area of the park's becoming more prominent because it would have four attractions instead of two. So doubling the amount of attractions in that area. It's also quite close to where they're going to be building the new land for next year um, so yeah some more support rides for that and in general some more support rides to the park which is very exciting now with it being a pirate themed area obviously we've got a lighthouse going in it kind of seems like they might be going more down a nautical theme um, than actually pirate so to speak with this so uh, I don't think we're going to fully lose the pirate theme you never know but um, I think you know they're kind of bringing in some more nautical elements into the area as well so um, this ride looks like it's going to be located where they had a stage um, at the Halloween event last year. They used to have like one of them goal striker um, kind of games there, you know, uh, before. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's going to be going in that location from um, what we can see from the plans. The second ride looks like it's going to be a relocation from Thorpe Park and it looks to be a Zamperla rocking tug aka the timber tugboat from Thorpe Park that previously used to be at a sea life center and yeah it looks like that's going to be making its way to Chessington if they get the permission. Uh, again located just around the corner from where this other new ride's going right next door to the arcade that's in the middle of Pirate's Cove. Now Again, the operator's booth looks like it has some nice theming on. This looks like a standard building with some nautical theming on. However, um, two more support rides is always great news. And uh, yeah, it's good to see Merlin taking things a bit more seriously with flat rides these past couple of years, uh, especially at the Southern Parks, because yeah, this could be a real nice investment for them. Uh, but yeah, you know, just leaning on to the overall kind of area for this, Pirate's Cove, it has only got them two attractions at the moment. So bringing in two more is great. It's close to the new area. So again, it's going to help with that and just genuinely um, help with the park capacity because Chessington's a very popular park. It gets some big visitor numbers. And I've been saying for a few years now, these Merlin parks with the crowds that they're getting need more rides to help soak up the crowds, get people through. So as much as these aren't mega throughput attractions, it will certainly help with that. You have got to think though, uh, what about Griffin's Galleon? Because uh, of course that's located in Land of the Dragons. It makes you think with Griffin's Galleon, you know, is that going to stay? That's actually a rocking tug. Um, so yeah, you know, it makes you think, is that going to stay? It is a different version. It's not from Zamperla and it's uh, a lot of throughput, I believe, uh, not as many seats. However, um, is that going to stay? It's literally round the corner from where they want to put this one. Um, but it is in a bit of an out of space area. You know, a lot of people don't make the way around there. So yeah, that could be interesting to see if that stays. 
or maybe we'll just have two of them operating, but both, you know, from different manufacturers, offering a bit of a different experience, and of course, different themes as well. So one theme to dragons, one theme with this nautical uh, kind of experience to go in for now. So there we go. Let me know your thoughts down below in the video comments. I don't think they're going to have any issues getting planning permission for this. Um, so when's it going to open? Maybe May, June time? How long will it take? I mean, you've got to think timber tugboat, um, relocating that from Thorpe Park. It seems like the water mania from Zamperla, uh, that's going to be a brand new ride. We don't think that's getting relocated from anywhere else as far as we know. And there's certainly not one of them operating at a Merlin Park. Um, so yeah, it does seem like it will be a new addition. Um, but yeah, two things which is, is great to see. And obviously a bit of an overall refresh for the Pirates Cove area. Sea Storm coming back for this year because that was shut towards the latter part of 2021. And of course last year, Blue Barnacle. So that overall area should be very nice and fresh re-themed or at least upgraded theming uh, and that'll help support the big new area for next year as well with the coaster so there we go two new rides planned for chessington fingers crossed to get planning permission and as always we'll keep you updated here on theme park worldwide but there we go thanks for joining me for another news update we're in them weeks now leading up to the parks opening lots of news coming out and lots of updates to come here on the channel especially over the next couple of days got lots more planned to keep you updated with what's going on out there at the parks that leaves me with one final thing to say. Get out there and keep on riding. We'll see you in tomorrow's video.